I grew up with a mother who was a petty trader and it was normal that I got involved in her kind of business as early as I was 7. When I was 15, I started my first major business and when I was 21, I went fully into the business world. Till when I was 27, everything I knew about building a business was about bricks and mortar. You have to struggle to get an office space, create a product or service and try to create a reasonable market share. If you are fortunate to have success in one town or city, then you'll have the leverage to move to more cities and if you have reasonable success again, then you can dominate a state and if you continue growing, you can eventually become a national brand, though only very few products ever made it to this level. That was the world I found myself in, the world of bricks and mortar. Until a few weeks to my 28th birthday, a friend who had been building a business on the internet wrote a book about his business model and asked me to review the book and for the first time, I understood how the internet works. In today's video, I'll be sharing with you the reasons why I think making money on the internet is very easy. If you're new here, consider subscribing so that you won't miss other interesting videos like this. To start with, let's all agree that nothing in life is easy. This sounds counterintuitive to the title of this video but let me explain. You see, we only use the word easy or simple when we unconsciously compare one thing to another. Take for instance, we can say in the year 1907 that it was easier to travel in a car because we are comparing traveling in a car with traveling on a horseback. However, today, we can say that it's easier to travel by air because when you compare that with traveling a long distance by road, the difference is clear. Nothing is automatic in life. Nothing happens without effort but some things are easier, faster and simpler than others. And that's why when you think about building a business, it's easy to build a business on the internet. Having in mind what building a brick and mortar business means. Why Immigrants Succeed in a Foreign Country To explain how easy it is to make money online, let's use the examples of the immigrants, especially those who moved from various tough countries into better countries. Because these people are coming from a very difficult country, they can easily appreciate what they see in the new countries and take maximum advantage of those things while the people who grew up in such countries are still making excuses and laying complaints about everything. Similar things happen with the internet. The internet as we know it today is mostly appreciated by the people who have tried to build brick and mortar businesses before. If you spent like 5 years trying to build a brick and mortar business, you'll appreciate what the internet offers you. What does the internet offer you? I've said it on this platform before and I'll have to repeat it because human minds forget things as fast as they hear it. To build a business, you need just three simple things. Those three things are attention, trust and products or services. With these three assets I mentioned above, anyone can build either a million dollar business, either a million dollar or a billion dollar company depending on how big the three assets are. Again, every profitable business is built on attention, trust and product. You need people's attention before you can ever get them to trust you and you need people's trust to get them to patronize your business and you need a product or service to make people willing to exchange their money with what you have to offer. So, how is the internet a better place to make money? Why is it easy to make money on the internet? Well, let me start with a simple example. 17 years ago, when some of us were in high school, we only had two or three friends. We talked with these friends while at school and if after school we had other things to do together, we had to trek to their houses or meet somewhere. Today, if you're a 16-year-old high school student, you probably have more than 100 friends on your social media platforms. I'm not saying that these 100 friends are real or your friendship with them is as important as that of your physical friends but I'm saying now you have the attention of 100 people and you can as well increase that number to 1000. Because you have this huge attention, you can have a few trusts and you can make money provided you're resourceful. I'll get to that in a second. Creating content for your product As I've explained a few times, the three assets that make people rich are attention, trust and product. And I claim that it's easy to make money on the internet. But why is it easy to make money on the internet? Well, it's easy to make money on the internet because it's easier to acquire the wealth creating assets using the internet. When it comes to getting attention, trust and converting those to money by selling your products or services, nothing in the history of the human race makes it easier than the internet. So, how do you get these three assets that can make you wealthy? Listen, because I'm about to reveal a great secret 
which is not even a secret at all. You see, the number one reason why people go to the internet is that they want to consume content. Content consumption is by far the number one reason why people use the internet. Think about it this way. Why do you ever visit Google? You visited Google only to search for something, mostly content. Why do you visit YouTube? Well, it's obvious, to consume content. Most people don't know but the reason why we use Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and so on is to consume content. You like to read what the other people write. You like to see their photos and videos. That's why you use social media. When you chat with your friends on social media, guess what? You're still consuming content. So, I might not be wrong to say that 90% of the reason why we use the internet is to consume content. If you agree with that figure, then you might want to ask me, how is that important to me? Well, it's important that you know what people are consuming on the internet so that you can know what to give them because if you can give people what they love for free, you may get their attention and if you can get their attention, you'll earn their trust and if you can earn their trust, they will be willing to open their wallets and give you their money in exchange for your products and service. Again, how do I get the attention? Create content. Because content is the number one reason why people use the internet. Create content, valuable content and get people to consume it. This has earned you their attention. A reasonable percentage of the people who consume your content will like you while some will love and trust you. With this trust, you can sell valuable services or products that will help your audience. At this point, a few people may have some problems. There may be questions like, what kind of content should I create? What kind of products should I sell? What if my customers don't search the internet for my content or even what platforms should I use to distribute content? Well, let me explain with some personal examples. I built an agri technology company and our products are purely agricultural related and that was my first successful business thanks to the internet. What we did was to create a blog, wrote tons of blog posts related to different areas of agriculture. We didn't spend money on newspapers, TV or anything like that. Google ranked our content for free and whenever people search for topics related to what we have, Google suggested our posts. When people land on our website, we educate them via our content and politely tell them, hey, we have experts who can help you further. Most people won't buy what you're selling for a hundred different reasons but a few percentage will not and that few percentage may be 1 to 5 percent. May be enough to make you some good money depending on what you sell and how smart you do it. We later started making videos to promote the same company on YouTube and till today we still make money from those two channels. I'm not a fan of social media and that has reflected on the way I do my business. Yes, some people say that YouTube is a social media but I don't think so. While YouTube may be a social media by definition, it's a library or a school for some of us. So I use YouTube a lot for my business and personal consumption of content. What else shall I tell you here? Okay, look at this. Being resourceful is important. Most people are not resourceful because of our dumb school system. Most people don't read, learn or get curious about the life around them. Most people have never read ordinary 10 books about entrepreneurship marketing, negotiation or anything like that and they want to make money online. You have to know what most people don't know before you can do what they can't do. Again, the three most important assets to make a lot of money are attention, trust and the product. In that order, you need people to know you exist, attention, you need some of these people to trust you and you need to know how to sell to them valuable products or services. Nothing in the history of the human race makes it easier to get all these assets than the internet. I also analyzed in this video that most people visit the internet to consume content. Because most people visit the internet to consume content, the best way to get their attention is by creating content. I seriously hope that this video helps you. If you like this video, you'll like our new channel where we share with you some inspiring stories and biographies of the most successful people in the world, even the villains. We call it Fame TV. Kindly look at the description box to join the Fame TV. We love you.